Hey, this is Kirby and welcome to Kirby Q. Today I'm going to be doing barbecue um, chicken wings on a smoker. It's a recipe I'm using from Myron Smithson's book. And I uh, just thought I'd give it a try, give some of the rubs a try, give it the sauce that he suggested a try. And uh, just to do something different and to get this Memorial Day weekend started off. It's going to be um, one of probably three cooks I do this weekend. So let's get started with barbecue chicken wings. All right. Okay, let's get started with the rub that he suggests using. Um, he suggests that we, the, this is his basic chicken rub. And he uh, this rub calls for uh, four tablespoons of garlic powder, a half a cup of sugar, four tablespoons of kosher salt, four tablespoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a half a cup of chili powder. So I have all of that mixed up here, and we're just going to throw it in a bowl and mix it up. Okay, let's mix the rub up. Switch it all into here. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty well mixed together. Let's give it a try. Let's give this a rub a taste. This is basic chicken rub. The rub is just okay. I guess this is basic, so. Maybe we ain't supposed to jump jump for joy over that, but Okay. Okay rub. And the chicken. I brine my chicken uh, overnight. Again, using my brine solution that I told you guys about in a previous video. Uh, seasoned salt, salt and sugar that I use on that and let me get my pan this is shit get my pan I'm just gonna go ahead and put my chicken in here over it and what I'm doing just gonna layer it on the rub for now but then we'll mix it all together one more time. Okay, got the chicken pretty well coated in my fingers too. Don't know why I didn't put my gloves on today. Uh, stay up there. But the chicken is coated, is um, seasoned, and uh, I'm going to uh, let it sit until my smoker comes up to comes up to um, temp. Then I'm going to place it on a smoker for two hours. All right, guys, I see you out at my smoker. Okay, fellas, I'm out here at my smoker. 
Um, according to Myron's uh, recipe, he suggests that the smoker be at about 250. Uh, I'm at 253, probably going to go st hold steady at about um, 257, which is okay for me. Here's the chicken. It's been sitting on, getting it loaded up. Let me zoom out just a little. Okay. And I'm going to put this on the hot side of my smoker, which is right here. For you, you guys, I had a Brinkman or any offset smoke, you know it's the side that's closest to the firebox. Okay. So there I, okay, I got the chicken in. And um, like I said earlier, he suggests that uh, you uh, keep it in the smoker for two hours uncovered in a pan uh, and let it smoke. I'm using white oak and cherry wood today. Uh, to get at a try, um, uh, that's some of the wood that I picked up last week from um, Chad at East Coast Smoking Wood. I'm gonna be doing a little promo video for him uh, shortly. Um, let me show you. Let me show you guys something. That there, gentlemen, is about 320 pounds worth of charcoal. So I'm set for the summer. Uh, for the summer, um, Home Depot and Lowe's was running two 20-pound bags for uh, ten dollars. So uh, just loaded up at both stores. I just when it gets all together, that's only about um, that's forty. I spent forty at eighty uh, eighty dollars worth of charcoal right there. I ended up with like three hundred and twenty pounds worth of charcoal. All right, all right. So. Okay, there's a uh, sauce that Myron suggests that we use uh, on this chicken. So let's go inside and let's get that prepared that sauce. All right. Okay, let's get ready with the um, sauce. Uh, it's a it's called the chicken um, sauce and glaze, and I made some adjustments to it because there's um, two other sauces that. Uh, he was adding two or two base to uh, his basic hickory sauce and his basic vinegar sauce. Uh, you needed to add one cup of those two sauces uh, into this particular sauce instead of me making three different sauces. I'm I'm kind of winging it and making adjustments as I see fit. Now, what I did not show is in this pot, I've added um, a cup of honey and a cup of maple syrup. What I have here is a cup of apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to add to it the two cups of ketchup right here. Let me get a little. Now for the dry spices, what I have, I have one cup, I mean one cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of black pe black pepper, one uh, a half a tea, a half a tablespoon of uh, smoked paprika, a half a tablespoon of onion powder, a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of red pepper. And I'm going to add this to the mix also. I got the adjustment. Add all of that. Into it. And sometimes with cooking guys as most of you know you got to improvise adapt and overcome based on what's in your house at the time so uh, I didn't feel like 
run it out to the store or anything. So again, I just uh, improvised on the uh, on the glaze that he suggested in the book. And we're gonna just heat this. We're gonna mix all of this together and just heat it up. Once it gets to a, uh, you don't want it come to a boil. You just want to get it heated up and get everything well mixed. And what I made, you may see me adding stuff as I taste it to get the uh, taste to where I want it. All right, so I'm just gonna be stirring for stuff. I come back when um, I've got it heated up and everything's pretty much mixed together. I see you in a few. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's starting to bubble, which I wasn't supposed to let it do, but. I wanted to mix it up just a little bit more. Break that ketchup down. test. Hmm. The sauce is pretty good. It's a pretty good sauce. I'm just gonna Stir it up. Gonna turn the fire off, heat off, for us. Keep stirring it. And get little clumps of uh. Most of you who use ketchup in your sauces, I'm sure, like mine, it kind of clumps up. And so what I'm probably do is just run it through the blender, just to make sure it uh, breaks down really good. That's what I usually do. I just pour it in the blender. And Get it mixed up. All right, I'm gonna run it through the blender. You don't need to see that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a um, uh, in a jar and um, take it out to the grill and um, um, baste the um, chicken with it. All right, I see you out at the smoker. Okay, fellas, I have the sauce that we not tostitos, but the sauce that I made in the house. I'm ready to put that on the chicken. Got a shot of that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I did start it off in a pan and I uh, decided to go and put it directly on the grate. with some sauce then I'm going to leave them in a smoker for another uh, 30 minutes take them in the house to rest guys have a great memorial weekend I know some of you are gonna be posting some awesome cooks and I'm looking forward to watching them and mimicking them as a matter of fact that's one of the things I plan to do this summer uh, is some of the guys who YouTube channel that I subscribe to I'm gonna um, um, do one of my favorite cooks 
from their channel. So something that, um, say, um, Smokey Ribs won a video, of maybe one of his cooks or something he's done that I really like. Um, Greg from Ballistic Barbecue, um, Alan from Grilling Network, uh, Dan from Smoky Goodness, and Jim Bujitsu, JB, K Ray, a uh, whole host of guys, Pitmaster X, a whole host of all of you guys do excellent jobs with your videos. I really like them, they inspire me to um, stretch myself out of my comfort zone, try something new. So, most of my, so this summer, that's what I'm going to be doing. Just going through you guys' channels and looking at um, different cooks and stuff that you all have done and uh, mimicking some of your cooks and your recipes and things like that. And of course, some of my own Kirby Q cooks as well. But this glaze looks really good. It tastes good. And uh, I got a... I gotta uh, take back what I said earlier on the rub. I tasted a piece of the chicken earlier, a little small piece that looked like it was done. And um, it tasted really good on the chicken. Uh, by itself, to me, it didn't taste all that hot. But um, on the chicken, it did taste pretty good. And uh, this glaze looks really good on this chicken. Hit this side of it. Got the first coating of glaze on it. leave it in there for another um, 30 minutes and um, I'll be back out to uh, put them off the smoker let them rest and uh, then give them a taste test all right guys I see you on by uh, see you in a few minutes <laughs> all right, bye -bye. okay fellas that is the finished product they've been um, uh, glazed and allowed to sit now for the moment of truth, just give me a second to readjust the camera. Alright, so let's try one. Okay, here we go. Nice and sticky. Okay. This is good. I use a lot of white oak on it. I can really taste the smokiness from the white oak on, on this. The sauce is good. Mm. Everything blended, blended perfectly. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it's on page 33 for those of you who have um, Myers Mixon's cookbook, Barbecue Chicken Wings. These turn out to be really good, really good. Well, I'm going to finish eating my chicken wing. Y'all have a blessed evening. Thank you for watching Curvy Q. Please subscribe, like it, share it, love it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.